Good evening. Thank you. Thanks. Wow. 7 p.m. on a Sunday. Are you guys crazy? Uh, but I tell you, it, it's really heartwarming. <laughs> the students and I really appreciate it. It's, uh, I know, a large sacrifice on, on all your parts, you know, uh, Sunday night, you sh should be on the sofa, right? And, uh, but you choose to come and listen to percussion music? Wow. Uh, you're awesome. All right, so thank you. Thank you. But the students deserve it, right? They, they really played well. So. <clears throat> Yeah, those are, those are difficult pieces, especially in a room like this, where sound is kind of bouncing everywhere, and, uh, it's, um, but it's great. So thank you. Uh, th not only thanks for attending, but those of you who have donated to the uh, Music for Food, uh, we appreciate that, and those in the community too. Um, I'd like to thank uh, three of my colleagues here, uh, professors to that, are playing in the next uh, two groups. Uh, that would be Professors Encarnacion, um, Pertl, and Humphreys. Um, so it's, and they're, uh, uh, you know, I didn't make them do it, okay. Uh, they volunteer, they were interested uh, in these styles of music, and uh, so they want to you know, honor the music, and that's why I have it in the curriculum, and we have it here at Lawrence, and this is in these uh, next two styles of music uh, that years ago I studied in Ghana and also in Cuba, and since then I've had several of my students get grants to travel there. Uh, tonight we have Alex Quaid, who spent uh, time in the same village in Ghana that I did uh, last year and learned some different pieces. Uh, Nolan Ehlers, who, who uh, spent time in Cuba and is about ready to go back to Cuba again, uh, studying the traditional music, Afro-Cuban Afro music there. So those uh, are the two styles that you're going to hear. Um, and I, I, appreci I appreciate their dedication and interest 
to keeping this music alive. And uh, I, I've told them several times that the, uh, the Ghanaians and the Cubans are totally, they would be awestruck to see how these students, you know, uh, embrace th their music and, uh, and give it everything they can to, to honor it. So uh, I appreciate that very much. Um, also, Tyler Nonst Nonstad um, helped out and assisted in the dance um, in Kinkabio. We really appreciate that. It's very hard as a drummer to be able to teach both dance and you know, do all the lead drumming and so on. Uh, and let me just very quickly, while they're getting set up, uh, when, it, when it comes to Kinka, I can help you follow along in that the loudest drums, well, in, in Bawa, it's two drummers playing in unison, so they'll be loud. And then in Gahu, it's Boba, which is the large drum. Those are the master drums that are giving calls to the dancers, telling the dancers what to do next. So the dancers have to know the drum language. Um, okay, so it's uh, pretty complex and uh, very challenging, especially the, for you know 70 minutes a week rehearsals. You know, and, and thanks to a lot of these uh, people, they put in extra time too on, on weekends. Um, I'll have Nolan come up here in a minute and have him. Um, tell you just a little bit about the, uh, the medley that he put together for the Afro-Cuban stuff. Uh, also, can't uh, thank uh, our sound people, Brent and Alvina. They've really, uh, you know, what can I say? You, you wouldn't be able to hear me right now, right? <laughs> yeah. And, they, and they've been at it since 8 o'clock this morning. He had an LSO concert where they were very much involved at three o'clock. They had our dress at 10 to 12, and now they're still here. So yeah, I owe them a lot of coffee. So uh, we really pre appreciate their help a lot. Um, about set? Okay. And I also uh, appreciate uh, Tyler learning these songs and leading uh, the singing. It's a very difficult uh, style of singing and uh, I thought he's doing a great job with it. Yeah, you want to uh, again move it over there? Sure. Hi, thanks everybody for being here. So, oh, thank you. Um, so what you're about to hear first is a medley that I put together of songs for Baba Luaye. And so Baba Luaye is the Orisha or deity of the Lukumi people. Lukumi are descendants of Yoruba, uh, which is present-day Nigeria, uh, brought over through the slave trade into Cuba and other parts of Latin America. Um, yeah, so this Orisha is uh, represented by diseases, but conversely of that, also health. So he's both loved and feared for that regard. Um, yeah, so what you're going to hear first is a group of songs for, from the Yoruban, uh, Yoruban tradition. Uh, you'll hear the bata drums with that. You'll hear the signature rhythm for Babaluaye first. And then you'll hear some songs for him. After that, we'll switch over to the conga drums back there. And that will be a style called Arara. Arara is a group of people separate from the Yoruba people, also brought to Cuba and other parts of Latin America. But whereas the Yoruba people were uh, coming from Nigeria, the Arara were coming from a little bit west of there. So Ghana, Benin, Togo, those countries. And so you'll hear a little bit of a different style of drumming with that and some different songs. Yeah, thank you.
Oh, 